be a little safer than what I do. I, I love drunken baths. I love me a drunken bath. What's wrong with that? It's fine. Well, the, no, it's not. That's really dangerous. I live alone. Like, nobody's gonna, you know what I mean? Like, I fall asleep. Yeah, Lena Dunham talking about which of Taylor Swift's ex-boyfriends were the absolute worst. And there's so many to choose from. Detroit has a lot of very big stations and a lot of very, very big heritage stations. So it's a lot more competitive, that's for sure. Um, there's just a lot of great morning shows. My name's Julia, and I'm the Julia part of the morning show with Susan Julia. On 98.7 Amp Radio, I'm the morning show host. Well, I went to Specs Howard for, um, for radio, and then right out of it, I got an internship at another local station, do, like interning for a morning show. And then um, I applied for promotions, and I worked in prom promotions for a little bit, and then I started doing that full time, and it felt weird to me the entire time I was doing a different job that was going the opposite direction of what I wanted. I'm Rebecca Volk. I'm the marketing director for AMP, and I've been in radio since I was in high school. I hired Julia in promotions, um, so I've been working with Julia a long time, but um, promotions wasn't for Julia. She's a talent, though, and um, and she, I mean, I think we all knew it. I mean, she's hilarious. Just all the time and super creative all the time but I mean it was Julia who knew knew deep down that she wanted to be on the radio and she went off to Port Huron and she got herself you know a show we didn't even know about it and then she comes back with like a demo and we're like what's going on this is hilarious you're really good the company didn't tell us I worked part-time at a radio station in Port Huron for like six months, that's it. All I did was like one shift a weekend, and I was like, because I told myself, I'm not even gonna bother to try to get on air here first, because the thing that they beat into your head is your first job is never gonna be in Detroit, and especially your first full-time job. So I was like, I'm not even gonna bother them that I wanna be on air, I'm just gonna go do my thing, get some experience under my belt, and then it was that really bad winter we had in like 2014, and my boss at the time, Rain, was like, what are you doing? Like, don't, why are you driving 45 minutes every weekend or more because at that time it took me an hour and a half to get out there to do one shift like just send me your demo. I remember Julia when she was on the promo team and she was kind of the crazy outgoing girl and then one day it was like I found out she really had a passion for radio. <laughs> I don't want to say this on camera but Julia she's the face of 98.7 Amp Radio. For someone who, and I say this respectfully, is as green as she is, she shouldn't be as good as she is. And she shouldn't be as talented as she is. And she shouldn't be as driven as she is. But somehow she is. She's just this, this anomaly. So last night, Lena Dunham was on Watch What Happens Live with Andy Cohen. Um, and she was playing Plead the Fifth. So while she was sitting right next to Maggie Gyllenhaal, who's the Swift, who's the Swift? Who's the sister <laughs> of Taylor Swift's ex, Jake? Yeah. She was asked, who is the least of Taylor's boyfriends? Now, obviously, she is like very, very good friends with Taylor. So this was a juicy question to ask her. Somebody got dragged by Lena Dunham. Uh, Julia is one of my favorite radio personalities ever, honestly. Um, and that was before I even worked with her. Uh, I just think that she's one of those people that are super creative. Uh, she has an interesting look about her. Like, she, she just looks like a star. Um, so I think she is going to be a really huge deal in this market for, for some time to come. Um, super funny. Great to work with, like I can't say enough great things about her. I think community is extremely important and that's why, that's the beauty of radio, is everybody's always saying like, oh, aren't you worried about your job going away, you know, with Spotify and all these other music streaming things. Radio is the only thing left. It's like a club. Like if you live in Detroit or if you live in like a city, it's a community, it's a club. The things you're talking about make sense to you. You know, if somebody were to drive in that's not from Detroit, we might be talking about, you know, life in Royal Oak or Roosevelt High School that I went to, and they're not going to necessarily knows what, know what that means. And I think, like, it makes people not only see us as relatable, but they kind of feel like they know us and they kind of feel like our friends. So when they see us out in public, um, they come up to us and they can talk to us about certain things. I know you live in Royal Oak. I know you go to this gym. I know you do this. I know you do that. And it's not weird because we're putting our lives out there. But like that's the greatest thing about community. For radio, community is everything because if you go like way back in time, like if you, if you were to look up like radio on Wikipedia and what we do, 
it's to serve and protect the public. That's the whole job of radio, which I know that sounds like super dinosaur and old, but really that's the point of radio. 98.7 AM radio, hit me with that Kringle Jingle lineup, hit me. Okay, we got Cash Cash, yeah. we have Madison Beer, yeah. we have Quinn 92, and yeah. we have Bozzy. Uh-huh, December 13th at the Fillmore. Tickets go on sale Friday, 10 AM at LiveNation.com for Kringle Jingle.